what's up guys today i am skating aboard with nine inch trucks and an 8.5 deck so the trucks are half an inch bigger so on each side they're going to be sticking out a quarter inch past the deck at first i thought i wasn't going to do any flip tricks in this video uh, but my friend over there with the green shirt on said hey I've been trying to do heel flips. Are you good at heel flips? And I was like, no, no, I'm not. And uh, then I ended up doing a heel flip first try on this board. So actually maybe weird boards are better for heel flips because the muscle memory in my brain says, no, you're not good at heel flips. But this board's like, yes, you can do it. So really what I'm finding is that it's just what you're used to. You could get used to this and this could be the norm for you. And then it would be easier to do tricks on this. I have never seen the bowl this full of water. There's a good three to four inches of water in this bowl. I really wish I had filmed that first heel flip that I landed on this board first try, because it's hard to do another one. The reason for that is when the wheels stick out farther than the board, it's got this really weird leverage. So even if you're just pushing with your hand, or your foot you can see that it's harder to flip the board over when the wheels stick out longer than the deck and it changes the entire turning radius when you're turning you feel like you don't have as much force and control over your turns when the deck ends right before the wheels do it's strange it's kind of like how a long board feels like those drop through long boards so i got my actual camera out to show that not only are the trucks wider than the deck but actually the wheels stick out farther than the deck so you can actually see the wheels when you're looking down uh, these aren't slim wheels or anything like that if i had a really slim wheel it might not stick out past you know a quarter inch past the deck like this but these wheels stick out farther than the trucks so it makes it even more offset so i'm used to riding a big board and having a lot of concave that really holds me on the board so when i had a small deck with the big trucks i, I found myself falling off the board a lot and it did change the turning radius. You know, the wheelbase and the fact that the board is smaller, you don't have as much leverage when you're pushing right here on this side of the deck. It's not pinching over that wheel the same and turning the same, so there's a little bit of a difference in the way it turns. But besides that, it's fine. There's a lot of people that are really OCD and they can't stand to have trucks wider than the wheels, but it's not that bad. It's not that noticeable. I'm still wearing this sweatband. It kind of works as a, a helmet almost. You know, if I fall and hit my head, it's really padded. And it keeps my hair out of my face for now. Nose is less worn down. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's weird. Isn't that hard? Yeah, it's weird. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.